Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new Michelinas Grande meals. This one is the cheese chipotle beef nacho style pasta. That's a mouthful. Uh, macaroni with beef pasta, beef patty crumbles, red and green bell peppers, black beans and corn in a cheesy chipotle sauce. Sounds really good. Um, it's 14 ounces or 357 grams. Basically these are just bigger versions or, or there's more food. Uh, 20 grams of protein. That's pretty cool. I bought this at Kroger. It was only $1.99, believe it or not. It's, uh, it's pretty cheap. So calorie-wise, um, 560 calories, so not low calorie for sure. Uh, but there's your info for you. And it's a microwave cooking only. I don't think there's oven directions. There isn't. Um, so before cooking, lift lid to vent. Um, do not fully remove the lid. Uh, cook on high for, microwave on high for four minutes. Open the lid, stir it up basically, and uh, cook on high an additional two to two and a half minutes. Uh, what happens though, I found, let me turn this down. Okay, I'm gonna vent this. And you can kind of see there's some pasta in there. That's about all you can see, but that's venting. So what happens when you pull this back to stir it up and you light back on, this curls up. So it's sitting there like curled up this far up. It's never affected us. I always thought it was funny. It says to recover it. Well, you can't recover it. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and uh, I'll be back when it comes out. All right. So I take the, took the lid the rest of the way off. And uh, here's what it looks like. Uh, the first, when I stirred it up the first time, it was very, uh, the cheese sauce was very like watery. So I stirred it up really good. Got all the macaroni covered with cheese and um, put it in for two more minutes and it thickened up the cheese quite a bit. I mean, it's quite a bit, tons thicker than it was. You can see it's still kind of runny, like a, almost like a Velveeta, but it does have a very smoky, peppery kind of uh, smell to it. So it should be good. So I'm gonna let this cool off because it's really hot and I'll be back. All right, I gave it a minute to cool off and been trying to cool this bite off. So here we go. It has uh, peppers and a bean and pasta and it looks like a pick carrot but I'm sure it's just uh, no it probably is a carrot it looks like a carrot and um, I think there's a piece of beef in there too there's not a lot of the ground beef pieces in here but uh, there are some so here we go the ground beef by the way is these little pieces not the macaroni um, they're little pieces like that that's the ground beef they're very very small, very, very soft. They're almost feel like a sausage texture. Hmm. Um, this has some spice to it. So it's got that cheesy, um, smoky kind of flavor, but it's also got some spice to it, like um, like hot peppers kind of spice. You know it's not the green and red bell peppers because I don't really taste those a lot, but um, I do get this um, seasoned, like peppery kind of spice, like um, like hot peppers. And, ooh, I got a piece of corn. I love corn in uh, Mexican meals. I think it's really in the ground beef. I think the ground beef has a lot of that spice to it because it says it's a beef patty ground up. But it, like I said, the texture is more like sausage and it has the seasoning like a sausage. No, almost like a chorizo or something. Um, it doesn't say chorizo on the package though. So I'm sure that's not what they meant it to be. Yeah, just beef. Um, Hmm, I don't know. I do like that the black beans, I'm gonna try some by themselves just to see. They're firm, but they're not hard. Um, they are firmer bean though, so they're not really, really mushy, uh, but they have more of a flavor of like a, a pinto brown bean than a black bean. It's not as strong a flavor as some black beans have been. Um, that's really nice. Yeah, I love those little bursts of corn uh, flavor in there. Um, overall, this is pretty good. I really do like the flavors of this quite a bit. I like the spice level. It's a nice spice level without being over the top spicy. Like it doesn't have a bunch of jalapenos in there to really spice it, make it burn when you're eating it. Although you do get a nice tingle in the back of your throat. It's uh, it's got a good peppery flavor. It's um, you get the cheesy, you get the smoky. Um, I do like all that. The um, if you don't like spicy food, of course you won't be getting this, but uh, but if you don't mind a little bit of spice, then, then I think you're fine. Um, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. I, it's not quite a five. It's not quite um, the kind of meal I'd wanna eat all the time, but I do like the flavors in there. Um, I do like the textures. The pasta's cooked perfectly. Um, the ground beef, I wish it was a little bit bigger hunks, but it's not bad. It's, some pieces are bigger, some pieces are small. 
Um, but the texture is fine. It's a little mushy, but, but it's fine. Um, yeah, overall, it's a really good meal. Definitely worth trying out. If you don't want the big version, maybe they make the smaller version if you wanted a smaller version of this. Um, but like I said, for two bucks, it's not, not a bad deal at all. So, um, yeah, I got a four out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.